Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of this tutorial. At this video we will take care of the animation part to get this final result in Adobe After Effect. Before starting, if you are a beginner at After Effect animation, you may find this video a little bit hard, but don't worry I will provide some easy level animation tutorials later on this channel, so please make sure to subscribe, to be updated for the next uploads. So after opening After Effect I will import the PSD file from the previous video. And to do that I will right click here and go to import file. Or you can simply use Ctrl plus I from the keyboard. After that choose your file, and click import. Now make sure that the import type here is composition. And the layer option is editable layer styles. Now click OK, and you will notice that everything was imported as intended. OK. Now let's open the generated composition, and as you can see After Effect has detected all the layers from Photoshop. Now let me create a new solid with a white color here. And make sure to put it behind all the layers. And I will lock it, so I don't accidentally move it later. Ok now by using the anchor point tool, I will quickly place every anchor point to the right place. The anchor point is basically the rotation or scaling center of the layers, so wherever I place the anchor point of a certain layer, the layer rotation center will be the position of its anchor point. Ok now let's begin our animation. I will begin with the eyes movement, so let me select the left eye here, and I will go under the mask, mask path option and add a new keyframes by clicking on the stopwatch icon. Now after a couple frames I will modify the path using the selection tool, so it will look like a happy eye. And this is the reason I did not rasterize the eyes layer in Photoshop. Ok now I will animate the position of the layer. So a quick trick to reveal the position option is to press P on the keyboard while selecting the layer. Now add a keyframes for the position. Also to bring all the options that have an animations on it, press the U key on the keyboard. Ok now just at the second keyframe I will animate it to go up a little bit. Now repeat the same actions with the other eye. Ok now using the Ctrl C and Ctrl V, paste the last two keyframes to keep the eye at the same position for a while. Now after that, copy the first two keyframe to bring them back to the initial position. Now as you can see the eyes animation is working fine. Now select all the keyframes and press F9 to give them the easy ease smooth animation. Ok now the next thing that I will do is to select all the layers except the body and shadow layers, and using this option I will parent them all to the body layer. And as you can see now if I move the body layer every other layer will move with him. Now let me make the body animation. Press R to reveal the rotation option. Now add a new rotation keyframe. Right about here. And after a couple of frames rotate it a little bit to the left, and here you can see why I placed the anchor point at that position. Select the keyframes and give them the easy ease by pressing F9. And the animation is working fine. 
Now I will make the body squish a little bit just before the rotation. And to do that I will use the puppet pin tool from After Effect. And make sure that everything here is the same as me. Now give the body two pinpoint to be able to give it the wanted motion as you can see here. Now from the keyboard, press U on the body layer. And you will be able to see that the puppet tool has added two keyframes at the position of the timeline indicator. OK move them back to the beginning and after a couple frames move the top pin a little bit down. Now copy the first keyframe at just the beginning of the rotation animation below. Make sure the middle keyframe is at the center. Now select all the keyframes and press F9. And as you can see the animation is working fine. I will give it a little more time here. Ok now I will have to animate all the other layers to move a little bit down with the body. And to do that, I will add a new null object layer. And I will reparent all the layers to it. After that I will parent the null object to the body. And by doing this I will still have the same action from earlier. But now if I want to move just the other layer without the body, I will just move the null object here. Now to animate the layer's movement, I will just animate the null object position. Ok now add a new keyframe for the position and at the same time of the pin animation. move the null object down a little bit. Now copy the first position to bring it back to the original position. Now easy ease all the keyframes. And as you can see the animation is still working fine. Now select the mouth layer and press S to bring the scale option. Here I will quickly give the mouth a small animation with its scale so the character will look a little bit happier when he rotate. So just at the beginning of the rotation add a new keyframe. And make the mouth smaller with the rotation of the body. Now select the two eyes layers and press U to reveal their animation. And move everything to begin their animation with the rotation of the body. Give the animation some more time. And I will rotate the body back to its original rotation by copying the first two keyframe backward. Make sure to finish all the animation at the same time. Bring back the mouth scale too. Now to make the waving effect I will add more rotation keyframes to make the body go up and down. Now the trick here is to add a new keyframe with a small rotation back. Just like that. After that just copy the previous keyframe to move it up and down like this.
and you will see the animation is working as intended. Now since I forget to draw the hand in the illustration program, I will quickly draw it here using the ellipse tool. Give it the same fill color as the body. And I will move the anchor point a little bit to the left side. I will rename the layer here. And I will parent it to the null object just like the other layers. Now move it under all the layers, since it will appear behind the body. And I will give it the animation to appear with the rotation of the body. Press P to reveal the position option and give it the reveal animation like that. Now I will try to make it wave with the same motion of the body using the same trick I used it with the body. And at the end I will hide it again to the same position at the beginning. Press F9 to easy ease all the layers. Now press R to reveal the rotation option and with the same technique make it wave a little bit by rotating it up and down at the same motion. Now let's see the animation. Let me just add another keyframe here to make the hand go down before it go back to the last position. Look like everything is working as intended. Now you can stop here and the animation will look great as a final result. At the rest of the video I will add the wiggling effect in the ears. And to begin I will add 3 pins using the puppet pin tool, so I can move the shape freely. After that press U in the keyboard to reveal the animation for the pins. Now I will make it move with the motion of the body to make it look more dynamic. And for the waving I will use the same technique from the hand animation. And at the end I will make them move forward as a reaction from the body moving down.
Just keep trying with different motions until you reach the most accurate animation. For those who want an easier method you can use the Springy FX plugin, I will provide the link in the description of the video. But since I don't want to use a third party plugin, I am trying to make the animation manually. This type of animations take a little bit time, by trying and trying, until you get the most accurate animation at the end. Just like what I am doing. You can find some references from other animations to make it look better at the end. Okay this is what I ended up with, as you can see. It is not too perfect, but you will have to give it more time if you want it to be better. Now to make the other layer animate with the same motion, I will just delete them and duplicate the same layer with the animation in their places. To duplicate a layer I am selecting it and using the Ctrl D shortcut from the keyboard. Now to flip the V's layer for the other side. I will just right click on them with the mouse and go to transform, flip horizontal. And to give them the same color as the other side I will search for the fill effect in the effects and presets here, and drag the fill effect in the layer. Now pick the same color as the other side and you will notice right away that the layer took the same color as that side. Now repeat the same steps with the other layer. And as you can see this is the final result. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you have a lot of fun making this animation. And once again if you find this video a little bit hard, don't worry this is a medium skill tutorial and I will provide some easy level animation tutorials later on this channel. Thank you guys again, this is Ajlili with Tutsup and as always I've got more tutorials coming up soon, please make sure to subscribe and like this video if you enjoy it, you can also click the thumbnail and watch another design creation video from this channel. See you next time guys.